Hello, everybody. Hope that you are doing very well and welcome to this morning's cryptocurrency technical analysis, where I am going to be going over the Bitcoin chart here on the very local term time frame. So I'm going to be covering a few different sculpts and, uh, you know, how this has been going over the last few days. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. It should be insightful uh, so you can see exactly how I am taking some of these trades where they are hitting to the exact dollar. So very impressive trades. Uh, and let's go over this. So what I actually have at the moment is some new sculpting strategies, new sculpting templates. Um, so what I have been using for to this morning's one, as you can see here, these are sort of updates that I give in the group. I closed my short. This is the exact timestamp of uh, 10,282, 10,282. So what I want to explain is how I got 10,282. And as you can see uh, from the top left up here, the bottom was 10,281. And then you had a hundred dollar move to the upside as you hit 10,300 and uh, the high being 79. So basically a hundred dollar move from closing that low. And if you are a sculpt trader like myself, you will know a hundred dollar move is equally a lot of money. Uh, just for transparency, I will show you uh, those videos. This was yesterday's trade, which got me 14K profit. And this was, oops. And this was obviously today's trade where I hit around 7K profit. That was on the short. And obviously you ride, uh, or I done anyways, rode $100 up in spot Bitcoin. And when you got about 20 Bitcoin on this, it equals nice profits. Um, so yeah, that's just the, the transparency side of things. And now I want to go over what I was looking at here. So basically, there was a few different reasons why I decided to close out at that low. And I want to explain how I managed to get that to basically the exact dollar for this sculpt. So there were a few different factors. What we had going on was a daily point of control. We actually had a new FIB level that I have found. And we have going on a liquidity region. OK, so as you can see from yesterday's yesterday's view, we had this really nice level that was formed. OK, you can see it was basically a bit of support bit of support, bit of support, bit of resistance. I was expecting that to come back into support today. Obviously, I was sculpting this over on Bybit. I also was playing off the 10,300 psychological level. That Generally, if that level is going to be support, the way that I trade is I like to see wicks through the support. And then I judge $20 as the level that it would not be wicked through any, any further. Um, and I was also looking off of obviously expecting some sort of buying print to be put in, considering that we were put, you know, basically the whole day had been grinding down. So that was simply my factors that I had going on here uh, for that short, that for that for that original short position into the long. And what I will do right now, just so people can see that it was real, I will just go into a market and just do like one and sell. And what you can see is the realized profit of the day. You know, just because so, I know other people are just going to be like, "There's no way you close to the dollar low there," but there you can see there's the realized profit of the day, seven thousand. Um, so yeah, that was obviously a $7,000 short position on a Saturday morning. And now what I'm looking to do is take it back up to around 10400 for a sculpt short back down. Okay, so what I like to do is get in and out, in and out, in and out on these trades really, really quickly. Um, and like a few different uh, tips that I can give you when you're a sculpt trader is you really, really, really don't want to get greedy. Okay, because there are times where you can be in a short position really nice. Okay, I'm, imagine like you're in this scenario. Okay. You see $14,000 profit. You see $7,000 profit. The lot of people when they're in this position are not going to be closing their trade. Um, you know, they're going to be thinking, wow, I'm in really nice profits. Let's hold it for a little bit more profits. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. And honestly, that's the worst thing you can do as, as a sculpt trader. You've got to be in, out, in, out, in, out. And really, the greed is the way that... 95% of people lose money because they see the numbers, they see the profits, and they'll just think it keeps going. But what you have to do, what you really have to do is like recognize these strong areas of support, strong areas of resistance and take the trades. And obviously there's not a 100% win rate. There's never a 100% win rate in everything. But what we have going on here is about an 83% win rate on this strategy. So it's a really high win rate strategy. And as you can see, it's getting some of them to the exact dollar lows. And I'm hoping to get the next one to the exact dollar high. Um, but as you can see here, this is what I'm using. And it's actually our VWAP. As you can see today, it has been pretty nice in terms of resistance, resistance, resistance through it slightly. OK, but you were banging into some resistances, obviously, from the previous day. And that's where you headed back down to the confluence region that we had there at 10,280. Um, as you can see here, what I'm also, you know, um, it's never like one factor. This is another tip that I give you. I'm never only going to be looking at one thing. What I always say is you need confluence. So if I see a level that only has one thing, so if I look at the Fibonacci, for example, and I see one Fibonacci level, 
it's never enough to take a trade. If I see one daily level, it's never enough to take a trade. You have to see like the confluence of factors coming together. And that is what gives you those strong probabilities. And, uh, you know, really gives you the confidence to take these trades and, you know, put on a few hundred thousand dollars on the trade for a quick trade when, you know, when you've got those odds in your favor, you know, that really, really helps out. So, um, yeah, overall in the technical analysis I can give you today, it's, um, you know, on a bit of a higher term time frame. We've obviously got a nice range going on here. And that is really what I am looking at between the monthly. OK, and then you've obviously got support coming in there. Ten thousand dollars, big psychological level, ten thousand dollars. OK, locally, the high being ten thousand six hundred dollars. So really, you got I would like <laughs> I've said this many times. I would like a range to go on here now, to be honest. OK, we've traded some of the you know great trades over the recent weeks. Like what you don't want to do is put yourself in a position to uh, I've, I've seen so many winning trades and then throw away your profits right now because a lot of people, um, you know, I think that I wrote this in the group yesterday. I was trying to like help out and be <laughs> be a good leader. Uh, these are some of the uh, comments. You can like read these comments if you want to like pause the screen and read this uh, because I feel it was pretty helpful. Um, actually, uh, yeah, this one here, especially like, you know, you want to like because, you know, I can go off of what I read in, in, in my group anyway that you've got some people that are still struggling with FOMO. And obviously, like, you know, just because I am winning trades and I'm making money, that obviously doesn't mean everybody inside the group is making money. You know, you've got to acknowledge that, that there is a certain amount of effort one has to put in. And you can never just expect an easy ticket, okay? Unless you actually study what I'm, what I'm you know, trying to teach here, then there's, it's going to be impossible to just try, you know, although I'm writing in the group when I'm entering, when I'm, I'm, I'm exiting sort of thing, it's very hard to mimic that unless you understand the theory behind it, you know? So especially this section, you can like pause the screen and read through this. I'll try and make it a bit bigger so you can see. You know, I felt this was a nice write up of uh, trying to get people to understand that they really got to, you know, take, you know, trading as a business. You got to put in the amount of, m amount of capital, okay? And then you got to really money manage this in terms of, okay, if I lose $1,000, that's a big hit. If I make $1,000, that's a great gain. But you then want to keep your capital growing slowly, okay? Um, you know, I could go into a lot more depth in a separate video. Or this wasn't really the video for it. But basically, you know, trading is a business. OK, so that's the bigger range that I believe that we got going on here. Really locally, 10,600 to 10,000. But I would, you know, that monthly, as you can see, it was really, really well back tested there before you had the drop back down. And that is still a major level. OK, so you've got a major level, 10,700 local, more 10,600. And then what I would say is your local support there is coming in at around 10K where you can envision a nice potential range to put in. That short that I've got preset for this. This is a sculpt trade. There's no I won't be holding that down to 10K sort of levels. It's, it's more like a trade that you hold for, you know, $50. Uh, but nevertheless, I wanted to talk you through those trades this morning. OK, and how I managed to identify those, you know, literally to, to the dollar. Uh, if you are interested in this sculpting template, so how I've done this template, how I am trading in this template, this is something that I'm going to be teaching in an upcoming contenders live stream. OK, where I will give you the template. OK, and, uh, you know, how I'm actually using this. This is a this is, I know how to fix that glitch now. <laughs> so if you want those templates and for me to explain my new sculpting strategy, then I will be doing that in the contenders live streams. So that's another bonus if you want to you want to learn about that uh until then hope that you have enjoyed this video i've talked you through um how i identified those levels for the long uh where i'm looking for those shorts that's for a sculpt but really then how i envision a larger range to be put on here okay well that's what i would like for the weekend <laughs> uh so i hope that you do have a good weekend uh, you've enjoyed this what was this just a really quick video uh update for you this morning of my, basically the update is I'm looking for a range to be put on here because what happens in a range, everybody that has just made lots of money on the short, the majority of people are going to get chopped up here as prices going up and down, up and down. They're going to be throwing away their money to the range traders. <laughs> um, so that's what I would, in, I, was, I would enjoy this weekend. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll put it up now. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.